Hello, my name is Drew and I am a sky watcher. Um, I see UAPs all the time out here in Iowa. Luckily, I live far enough out in the country that we don't get a tremendous amount of light energy, light pollution I should say. So we get a pretty good look at the sky. Um, not as good as other states. I know West Virginia, unbelievable sky. But anyway, that's another story. Um, here's what we do. If you want to try to spot an, a UFO, a UAP, or some, a satellite even, there's, there's a way to do it. And I don't think most people really understand how easy it is to see these things. First, you have to keep out looking at the sky. Here's how we do it. My wife smokes. I do not. Um, most of the time, in the evening, or during the day, when she goes outside to smoke, I follow her and just hang out with her. Now in the evening, what we do is we go out inside together and we shut all of the lights off around our house. Um, anything that can be, you know, in your eyes that could maybe interfere with looking at the sky. Now, don't expect to see something the first time. You might get lucky and see something. I don't know, but most likely you will not. But Here's what you have to do, and this is very important, I'm going to show you. And you see this, you see this, you see the sky. Alright, for instance, right there, I don't know if you can see this, that's a pretty bright star. And believe it or not, most of the things you see are not stars. There are planets. Like this one, we don't know about that one. And this picture is a little out of focus. I, I see that. And it's one of the best ones I can find to try to point out what's going on here. Okay, so let's say this is your night sky. Each time you look at the sky, try to remember what, where the stars are. And there's also some good free apps for your phone that you just face it to the sky and it'll tell you what planet, what star, so you can get to know the sky pretty well. Now remember, these will move a little bit during the evening. Um, and in, by the morning, it'll be even more different because it's good. We're, we're moving, we're turning, it's staying still. Okay, so get to know your sky. Just look at it, let it sink in, and you know, walk away. Come back an hour later, look at the sky again. Everything's going to be the same as it was an hour ago, but let that sink into your memory. After a few days, you will start to remember your sky. You start to remember, going, yeah, I remember that star was there, or that planet was there. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, maybe this one, or that one. You're not going to remember all of them, but you can remember the biggest ones that stick out. Okay? So, the way you look at the sky is don't look at that star. It's not going to do very much for you. You're going to stand back and try to catch the whole sky. Just look into infinity. Don't focus on any which one. Um, eventually, most likely, you will see a satellite first. And it'll look just like a little star, but it's moving at a steady rate. Just moving along, moving along, you know, just, it'll disappear. That is a satellite. And you'll see a lot of this. 
once you get to know how to look at the sky with an open mind and an open view, you'll start to see little things like satellites. And what you're going to do, you're going to look at the sky and just kind of open your mind and eyes to it. And suddenly you'll notice something's moving. Oh, look at that over there. Watch it. You know? Satellites move pretty pretty fast if you, I'm going to say slow. They move slow. Let's say, here it is. It's going to go like this. About that speed. And they'll keep going. You're not going to flash on and off. The only way that would happen is if like, something got between it and the sun for a moment. And I've seen satellites actually get really bright. I guess they turn a little bit and they reflect more of the sun back and they look larger. But keep looking at the sky. And eventually you'll notice something a little bigger like that or maybe like this doing the same thing but faster. It may flash on and off. I've seen them flashing. And you're going to move, and you're going to say to yourself, hmm, is that a satellite? I don't know. I think it's something else. Um, some of the things that I've noticed, and this is a perfect uh, explanation. Let's say that you've got the Big, the big Dipper here. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Well, the upper left star on the D Big Dipper, at least from my view, is kind of dim. It's hard to see. But I look at the Big Dipper every night I go out. I know where it is, and I'm used to seeing it. One evening, I went out, and I glanced up at the Big Dipper, and it didn't look right to me. That the little dim star is looking like this, like a brighter star. And I'm like to myself, I don't remember it looking like that. Now, your, your, um, your focus is on and you feel that little feeling behind your, you know, with the hairs on the back of your head. Something just doesn't feel right. As I was looking at the Big Dipper and staring at that star, it faded away. It just slowly faded away. And then behind it was the other star, the deep, the, the dimmish one. And I was like, my God, what did I just see? Okay. Another part of my sky, and I'm using this as a reference. Another part of my sky, we see Saturn almost all the time. Okay, I'm used to seeing it. I think there's another star similar to this, not too far from it. Used to seeing it, see it every night, see it multiple times a night. Well, one time, went out and looked at the sky, and here's three stars. And I'm looking, I'm looking at that. And my memory, I don't have the best memory, but my memory is telling me there were only two stars there. Or Saturn and a star. Well, suddenly there's a third one. That's weird. I don't remember that one. And that one faded away. To nothing. Now I'm left with just two stars. That's just two of experiences I've had out here. Now, we've seen them flashing all across the whole sky. We've seen them flashing and change direction. Um, we've seen them flashing and then disappear. Um, that is a UAP. When you see something like that, you can be rest assured that is not normal. Now, if it's an airline or an airplane flying really high, you should hear something. Um, I don't care how high it is. You should hear something. If you hear nothing at all, and you see something moving along out in the sky, be very, be very, um, you know, I don't want to say cautious of it, but focus on it. Watch it. Um, I've seen where there was a few stars um, out on the other side of my property. This didn't look right to me. I went down on the porch, I looked up, and for some reason they stuck out. I, mean, I don't know why, but again, 
your, uh, your mind is th starting to remember the sky, especially at certain times. So when you see something that's not right, it will pop out to you. You'll notice it. So I'm watching, I'm looking at these three stars. Four, was it four? Three. Anyway, they were just they're abnormal to me. I'm like, that's weird. I looked away. I didn't even think about it. About 10 minutes later, I glanced back up at them. They're still there, and suddenly, one of them starts to move. I'm like, what the hell is this? Starts to move, starts to move, start, oh, changes direction, comes over this way. I'm like, what am I watching? Suddenly, as I'm seeing this one moving, another one starts to move. They were UFOs. They were UAPs. They're not the normal stars you see every day every night. And that's the key. Focus on your sky. Remember where the stars are. Use your, you know, I'll show it to you. Use your cell phone app if you have one. I'll show you a good one. If I get it quick. This one's called Sky Map. Now, hopefully you can see this. All right. No matter where I point this, it'll tell me where the stars are, what the planets are. Now, right now there's not too much. It's looking west. I mean, it's looking north right now. There's not too much going on. I can't read that, but that might be a planet there. He'll tell you. Anyway, using an app like that <clears throat> will get you noticing more about the sky and what each of those stars are or planets. Okay, so really, that's really about it. That's the key. Um, there's no special equipment you're going to need, just good eyes, maybe glasses to help, I don't know. Um, binoculars really won't do much for you unless you know where you're looking. If you see something that's moving, yeah, binoculars would be fine. <clears throat> and I get a lot of, I take a lot of pictures and videos with my cell phone, because I don't carry around uh, a, a big camera. I usually just have my cell phone in my back pocket. When I see something, I just pull the phone out and just try to catch it. It's very hard to see them on the cell phone. Sometimes you can't even see them at all. Um, so that's when I, when I take a picture, I don't really zoom in on it too much because when you do that, the motion is, you can't tell the motion. All you're doing is moving your camera to follow it and it's just staying still or it's wiggling around in your view. In your view. Well, that's what the video is going to look like. So what I do is make sure you've got something behind whatever you're looking at. You can zoom in, but make sure there are stars or planets in the background that are not moving, and then you'll see the motion. I've had people online say, you should zoom in. Yeah, I mean, I have done that, and all it shows you is a white dot. Um, even, it'll turn into a blob eventually. If you zoom too far in, all you're going to see is a blob. So, using the zoom feature, lim limit, limit to that. You know, don't use too much, maybe halfway. As long as you have something in the background, a tree, a building, stars, then you'll see the motion of what you're watching. Okay, well that's about it uh, for today. Um, hopefully this will help you. Sit down. Hopefully this will help. And, uh, you know, good hunting. Hopefully you'll find some goodies up in the sky. Because, well, let me tell you, there's plenty of them. And this stuff goes on all the time. We're not watching the sky. We have no idea what's happening up there. But my wife and I are watching the sky. Um, and we do see quite a bit of things happening that are unexplainable.
enjoy your watching. Hopefully you'll find something and maybe post it on the, the, the you know, on the group. All right. Thank you. See you later.